Wait. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. What? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? I'm here to murder you. Wait, wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. What? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? I'm here to murder you, not the other way around. Oh, you know what? I have another fun weapon to try out, don't I? Where did I put you? Oh, my god. Oh, <laughs> oh da damn it. <laughs> okay, how are we doing time-wise here? Oh no. 66. <laughs> wow, that dramatic music cue. Damn it! <sighs> so. Back! Rude. Get him, Vasco. You are trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. <laughs> Vasco has the best dialogue. in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Well, <laughs> I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? Well, I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> Examine a hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out back. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! 
damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, something did screw up. There was a liquid rocket phase that was not actually supposed to get ejected there. <laughs> Other than that, it seems to be a bit of a death trap for poor Jeb, because I just realized I replaced the parachute with this control unit, so he wouldn't have to be here. <laughs> Uh, in Rimworld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my. Oh my god. Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. No one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. Before any of them can sound an alarm. I ought to be jealous of the nice. tower. She is more famous than I am. It's a good thing she has the worst helmet ever. Only problem is, she seems to circle around in exactly the direction I need to go. So this is going to end badly. You have the worst. What the hell? Uh, I have no words. How did I not get caught? What the heck? And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. <laughs> That's the last one. One enemy remains. I love it when they knock themselves over. dude is you or us I picked us all right guys you ready nice Oh. 
You didn't see me do that. I didn't do that. You can't prove a thing. <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. <laughs> this is not a problem. Holy crap, he was a scary one. I like that. Ghostly remains? Nice. Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. Too close. Now we know. Maybe we'll come back for this battle. <laughs> Actually working tonight, but I'll leave alert. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again is really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay. We're good. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we're going to be spending an awful lot of time playing some Starfield, so I hope you're ready for that. How's it going, Voidum? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. Let's see, where is Starfield? There we go. <clears throat> so this is the last day of September, which means it's the last Saturday of September, which means we're doing our super long stream of the month. So I will be going till at least midnight, roughly 12 hours, slightly. Oh, wow. It's actually almost 1230. Okay. So uh, almost 11 and a half hours. I didn't realize it'd take me that long to uh, get set up today. But yeah, we're, we're going to be doing that. And uh, you guys know me. When I do 12 hours, it's very likely I'm going to run long and do maybe 15 or 16 instead. Oh, not continue. No. I mean, we could play that save, I guess. But we want to probably maintain consistency and go with this one. Level 26. Enemies may investigate nearby explosions and projectile impacts. Okay, interesting. That could have some serious stealth implications. So I hope everyone's doing well today. I haven't had a whole lot of time in my day to do much of anything beyond... Well, this. Um. Wow, my ship looks so different. 
Oh, and this is the save where we don't have the ship technician guy here on Neon's landing pad. But that's okay. We can go elsewhere if we need to. Let's uh, see if we can get an idea of what we're doing. Oh, what status do I have? Contusions. Oh, melee attacks use O2. That's not a big problem. Still, let's see if I've got something just to cure that. Well, that'll do it, but that's a kind of a waste. Looks like that might do it. Passed my Azure 900 Fundamentals exam today. Oh, that's that's awesome, Carne. I'm doing very well. The prospect of spending, you know, 12, 16 hours playing Starfield with you guys is pretty amazing. I am excited. Okay, now. Further into the unknown, Vladimir has given me locations he could hold artifacts. I think we need to do this. We're gonna go here. Gunaboo 1B. Looking forward to it too, was contemplating if I don't need to grab some beers in that case. Hey, if, uh, you know, if you've got the opportunity, why not, right? Ah, okay, so this is the one we want now. Acquire the pat weight. Are we grabbing an artifact? Or are we grabbing a power? I think we should do both, but let's get the artifact first. Deserted UC listening post. We'll be back in 15, 20 minutes max. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be here. Okay, let's see what this planet's all about. <clears throat> also, just a quick fund check. 66k. We want that way. It kind of does look like there's a facility back there. Just because these, you know, ancillary structures, they, they tend to spawn in the vicinity of larger structures that you can actually have significant interaction with. One thing I've gotten fairly accustomed to in my other play, I think I've got my boost pack usage leveled up to level 3, if I recall correctly. I don't know if it maxed out, but I got it to level 3. And on low gravity planets, it means I basically never have to touch the ground. I 
I will probably get that sooner in this play. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I will probably get that sooner in Careful. this place. Low gravity gives a false sense of security. You can still fall. How are you not dead, sir? Rude. I don't think I've ever gotten an artifact from one of these particular structures before. This ought to be interesting. I wonder where it's hidden. There's got to be an entrance to a cave somewhere. Hey, Aranor, how goes? White, but I got more than I have in a number of days, so I think I'll be fine. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Oh, you son of a gun, you snuck in this way, did you? Barrett, Barrett, you don't make a good shooting window. I think that's it for the immediate moment, at least. But I'm not ready to be in this particular room just yet. Wait a minute. Oh. Never mind. This connects directly back to where I wanted to be. Okay. Uh, alright. 
Let's see if we can figure this. Actually, I don't like that layout. Let's re-randomize. That one looks somewhat better. Okay. So we want that there. And we're going to want that. And then we're going to need this and this. There we go. Find out why this was locked. I like this particular storage cabinet because you always find some decent weapons. Not so much necessarily to use, but to loot and sell. So what's everyone got going on this weekend? I mean, for me, it's mostly this. And I'm going to take tomorrow and rest and... Actually, guys, um... I need to take a couple minutes. It kind of sounds like I've got some sort of detector going off, so if you will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few. Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh... Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine. I'm giving you the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. Oh no! No! No, 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 no. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh god! Oh my god! I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my <sighs> Not impressed. Do not do that. Thanks, guys. Alright, sorry about that. I had this carbon monoxide detector pinging off every few seconds. It wasn't detecting anything, it's just at the end of its life and needs replacement. It took me a surprising amount of time to realize it was not something in the game. No, nothing major. Uh, 
Okay, let's see what we got here. I think I'm gonna try to collect less of the garbage. Coffee cups, of course, are not garbage. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. We don't need to sit down, sir. Nothing you need to worry about. Okay, so that one works on that level. I guess we have to find our way... Oh, we have to loot this room, too. No, get the lockers open. We're gonna have to start making our way downstairs. I expect that's where we're gonna find this cave location that we're gonna get the artifact out of. in here. bindings personal atmosphere gravity wave oh crap <laughs> yes we need to definitely spend some time getting my powers up because I forgot I still don't have all the powers I'm used to having I have so many powers in the other game now I don't have all of them but I've got significantly more than I do here including one in particular that I am somewhat addicted to using and it's driving me a little bit batty that I can't do it. Back with beer? Excellent, Carne. Nope. You're not wrong, sir. Whatever they're paying you, it's not worth your life.
Well, I'm pretty sure I know you're gonna die when I find you. Aha, uh -huh. that looks very cave like. I will go back for it. I just want to see if I can get rid of the rest of these pirate guys. All right. Whoa, good thing I quick saved. Let's try this again. Yes, I do wish for your death. Okay, I'm curious about something. Why do people keep bursting into flames? <coughs> what on earth am I using? Okay, it's it's not my weapon. Maybe my suit or something. Bolstering, weapon holsters, mechanized. Incendiary. Okay, my pack is incendiary. That explains it. about that we can pick up the rest of the crap then we can go collect our artifact and then I think we need to follow the lead there should be uh, one of the temples on this world that I can go get a power from if my quest log is to be believed <laughs> Helped your mom move a box and chased a squirrel with your cat. Okay.
it was, oh, uh, yeah, digging in flowers. Fun. Okay, uh... That looks like that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's probably gonna go there. Ooh. Maybe not, actually. That's gonna go there, and this will go here. This is only novice level. That'll be fine. Our cat constantly wears his harness because he's a little escape artist. I keep a leash by the door. Nice. I mean, for certain definitions of nice. That should be that. miss this. Sir. Fine. about this. Quantum essence? What? Nonsense. What crazy talk are you spouting, Barrett? That doesn't look quite right. Okay, 
you got that one. I'm not familiar with this quantum essence bit. That's interesting. I hate it when this stuff doesn't register. This will take us back there. It's a shortcut. What's that, Aranar? The Starborn thing? Oh, you might not have been here for that last time. Yeah, apparently there's an alien force out there that really does not want humanity to know the secrets that I'm uncovering. We assume it's alien anyway. The jury's still out on that, technically. But you know it's aliens. Well, I, I've met them a couple of times, generally in combat encounters. We'll have to see if it gets to be more extensive than that. Okay. We've been gone forever. 
Only because we've been gone forever. Twenty five weapons. Ten spacesuits, holy crap. Got a couple of artifacts to take back, actually. That ought to help. Okay, so we have to go to the other side of the planet. We want to go here. No. No. We wanted to land. It is a different planet. Never mind. Okay. Corrosive particulates. Lovely. You know, I'm going to need to redesign this ship as well. I've gotten used to being able to walk clear under mine, so we're going to have to lift it up. Three minutes until ads begin, guys. Okay, I don't think it's that. Ah, uh, that would be it. Making good progress here with these scans. Thank you. It's five of eight minerals. Burns. Eight 
It's only 21 degrees. How did I get burns? And how do we have snow in 21 degrees? That's weird. I assume it's logical and it's Celsius, but I guess it could be something else. Yeah, that's true. That is true, actually. There was corrosive snow, so it could be a chemical burn. Good point. Prognosis improved. Temple Iota. Part of me wants to stay and study this place, but part of me is energized to get back to the stars. That's the part that just got a chemical burn from the corrosive snow. Okay, before we actually head in here, it is time for me to take a quick break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or drink or snack or something, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Uh. <laughs> oh. That... Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with dead. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle's Scriveners of Doom. I love... These oh my god. Oh my god. Scriveners of Doom is the best title ever. I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Wait, is that supposed to be Douglas Adams? Oh my god. It's Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Oh shoot, it's a copy. How did I do that? What the heck? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. Why does it do tricks? Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. <laughs> so? Leave her alone. Why do I always find the spider caves?
That's what I thought. Bone horror. Yeah, oh god. I hate this. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag calling? Holy crap. Uh, I'm not finding any ultimate weapons, although I got lots of other crap. No pun intended. Okay. All right. I am back. Thank you. All right. I've discovered this is easier than you originally think it uh, it's going to be because they do a weird thing where you actually have to get used to a different boost key, but you can actually boost and accelerate. So collecting these things is much easier once you figure that out. problem is because it's non-standard keys, it presents a bit of an accessibility issue. If you have to remap your keys habitually, as I know Tesichka, we raided her the other week. She has to remap her keys a lot because of, uh, you know, nerve damage and whatnot from Carpal Tunnel. She found it exceptionally annoying because I don't think you can remap the alternate key layout. Yeah, it's not the best, but it is thankfully the kind of thing that hopefully they can actually do something about. What exactly? Oh. Oh. This is new. Huh. Oh, okay. we really do need to modify the ship. 15 unique ship modules. I'm gonna grab stealth. Now, what did I get in the way of powers? Uh, I've got anti-gravity, personal atmosphere, gravity wave, and... Oh, well, precognition is cool. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it's one of the ones I have in my other playthrough. Bend time and glimpse into the future, seeing the path someone will walk and the words they may say. So it's kind of your paycheck. Gravity, lensing, seeing, you know, the light of the universe bent all the way around before it actually happens where you are kind of deal.
All right. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go dump the artifacts back where they belong. Or at least where we think they belong. Then maybe we'll see about lifting the ship up. Yes. Or at least in the lodge. We're in orbit. I forgot Sam was on the ship. Hey, you might want this. What's up? Hmm? Oh yeah, I do. You may as well have it now. Oh, thank you. Chicken tikka. This place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. Captain, I have been idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. How far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Noel's right. We can't abandon who we are now. This is exactly what we signed up to do here. If we abandon our mission now, we're giving up on Constellation 2. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Happy to help. I'll head up to the eye. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Okay. Ooh, that's a hefty bump to my credits. No new artifacts to add. Okay. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? Nope. Sorry, Vasco. We'll get back to you. Before we do the eye, though, we're going to have to go work on the ship. So for that, I believe we're going to go visit Stroud Eklund again. Which is in Narian, if I'm not mistaken. Stroud Eklund is open for business. Come aboard, and let's see about getting you a solid upgrade.
Just about there. We gotta be 500 meters or closer. There we go. Find we have some tempting options for you. I hope so. Can we show you our stock. Okay. Uh, first things first. We've got a fair amount of funding to work with here. Pretty reasonable amount. What have we got going on? Okay, so we did upgrade to Amun Four, and we got all of them upgraded. So we're rocking six of those. What's our power plant? It's already pretty good. So we've got a power plant uh, class A. 23 power generation. Grav drive's probably not too bad. Let's see if we can get a better reactor. I kind of doubt it, though. I think we, at this point, pretty much need to jump up to class B for reactors. So, let's see. Uh, this is the 144 mm toroidal. Okay, this tokamak might actually be a small upgrade. Yeah, it is, but I don't think it's enough of an upgrade to be worth it, so I'm going to hold off on the reactor upgrade until we can jump to Class B, which I need to upgrade the ship more to do, because that's the the requirement that I you know, do, what was it, like nine more unique ship components? So, what kind of shields have we got? Ah, oh, we're still running one of those. Can I do... Oh, wait, no. I was going to see if I could do the, um, the Vanguard shield array. The Bulwark shield generator, but that is Class B, sadly. That's not going to work for us yet. So right now, I've got the SG-30 deflector. I could upgrade to the 40. What's the difference there? That's 110 shield max health. That's not insignificant. All right, we'll do that. Okay, another thing I would like to do... Oh, can I not... something better here. This might actually... You know what? I'm coming to the Stroud station was a mistake. Let's accept these changes. I need to go to an outpost is what I really need to do. I must have one somewhere, right? I'm sure I do. Stroud is great if you want Stroud-specific components. An outpost is a lot better if you want access to just everything. Other than uniquely specialized components. 
Glad to see you're back in one piece. Okay. Map. Okay, I do have an outpost in Alpha Centauri. And yes, it is at Zamka. I remember this. Let's go there. I think I remember this. Glad to see. I don't think I've done a whole lot with the outpost yet. Yeah, okay. This is the one I had to defend from a raider attack moments after I established it. Okay, now we should be well equipped to do all the modifications that are necessary. So, actually, that might not be the worst thing to do. That doesn't look quite right. Doesn't want to invert. Okay, never mind. <laughs> do they have parts that let you do orbital bombardment so you can play a pirate? No, but you can play pirate in plenty of other ways. I guess we can just go with these Demos hull parts. Oh. 
But no, orbital bombardment is not a thing. At least, not so far. Who knows in the future? Hey, Ansara, how's it going? Failing to get out of bed so far, but we'll get there. Excellent. It's not sh uh, no, never mind. I don't love that mismatched corner, but we might have to go with it. Just see what some of the other caps look like here. That matches better. I heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. What are they uh, doing with it this time on or er, Aaron Lar? Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it at this point. Now we've got an error. What's the error? Landing gear misaligned. Oh, that's fine. That's the landing gear is too high up. I can take care of that. Okay, so we had to use, or actually, 
Let me see if I did have to use these. Tayo's got some good looking stuff. I think that'll be better. While we're at it, let's maybe take a look at the options we've got for... Not bays. Where's the landers? Gear. No, I think it's going to be half those ones after all. One new major, two minor festivals, new late game content, new farm, new Joja quests, and new secrets. Big thing beyond the farm, though, is up to eight players at once for multiplayer. Nice. Okay. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? Time for a joke, huh? We can do that. Alright, folks, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so hold on to your butts, because there's a reason they're called that. Uh, let me see here. Here we go. Why don't people ever starve in deserts? They eat the sand which is there. There you go. Sandwiches. might just relocate the engine or the uh, reactor right there. I blame the brain injury. Fair.
too few landing gear, low mobility, landing gear misaligned, module below the landing bay. Yep, that's that's all fine. We can expand the number of landing gear, no problem whatsoever. Speaking of landing bays, though... Let's get us a Stroud companion way. And then see what we can do in the way of landing bays. Okay, so that's Tayo, that's Stroud, Nova, Demos. I think we're gonna go with Tayo for this. And just like that, we've cleared up all the warnings. Now that looks a little weird, but um, I might leave it for now. How's the ship building going? It's going. It's going okay. Let me just see how close we got to our skill requirements. We still need two more unique components. Actually, I'm curious about one thing. Horizontal weapon mount. Come on. Okay, I think we should be alright with that. So far, yeah, Jarek. That's the way I've intended it to work. It's not quite as large as uh, the one I've got in my off-stream playthrough, but that's okay. So we've got a workshop. 
got a storeroom. That's maybe the one problem. I can't really see what we've got. Captain's quarters, armory, lots of cargo. Oh, let's see if I can upgrade cargo holds. Oh, what's my what's my shielded cargo like? Okay, we've got 190 units of shielded cargo. What are the options there? Because you can do that with an outpost. You can do shielded bays. Okay, so we can get 240. Oh, we can do better than that, actually. Oh, well, maybe not. 240 looks like it could be the best. So far, at least. Oh, we can upgrade. Okay, so we can do the Galleon S203, which is actually my preference. So, I think... We're going to get rid of these two, and these, oop, nope, hang on. Working too quickly and deleting things I don't intend to. We can also potentially upgrade our fuel tanks here. That last round of upgrades, it really did not cost us much. So what do we got right now? We've got 160 capacity in each of two tanks. Those are really big tanks, but I could probably make them work if I wanted to. Uh, yes, it is, Jarek. I like it because it's got it's got hatches on two separate decks, which makes it really easy to get around the ship. Okay, that looks about right for that. Oh, what's the error? Too few... Oh, okay, we're going to have to add another landing gear. That shouldn't be a problem.
And then we have to deal with our shielded cargo as well. Okay, that is a problem, actually. Now we're spending too much money. I think we might only go with the one fuel tank. Um, that's still too much money. It's a hell of a lot bigger, yes. So I did have... I had four of these. That goes up to 950. This does 1,200. I could drop one of these. Oh. Um, no. Cancel. He's trying to duplicate it with the weapon and other equipment. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to undo a few things. Or more than a few things. What the heck? Wow, when did I delete that piece? There we go. I'll tell you what. We're not going to do that because those, those fuel tanks are unnecessarily huge. We can upgrade to them when we're using, like, uh, you know, tier... B and C drives and whatnot. I'll go with something a little smaller. So that was 160. Three minute warning on uh, ads, guys. Okay, so not that one. Maybe we'll just go with this. And we'll just do one of them. Hey, Nixus, how's it going?
48 of 65. That's looking all right. And now shielded. Fifty-eight. There we go. So we've significantly increased our cargo space while sacrificing a significant amount of mobility, but that's okay. Thank you, Nixus. It can't really compare to the off-stream ship I've got going, which is somewhere north of 12 or 13k, but uh, it'll do for now. It'll do. Yep, I play this game extensively when I'm not streaming, and I use a separate save file for it so I don't screw this one up. There we go, and now we can upgrade our starship design skill. Excellent. And now I can run clear underneath the ship, which is a bonus. It won't get in my way quite so much. Alright guys, I need to go make myself some more coffee, so if you need to get up and grab some food or drinks or snacks, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Back. That ant go. I like that their eyes start glowing red as soon as you go hostile on them. What the hell? Okay, Uthgird, I'm gonna need you to be real careful here. No! Yeah. <sighs> you try and warn them. Yeah, we're going, we don't need road. That hits entirely differently in this game than it normally does. I'm used to hearing that one in Far Cry when I fly somewhere. <laughs> Away with you! You shall not pass! <laughs> what timing! Thank you, Uthgird. That was perfect. I'll look for you, friend, when at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when you rejoin the ranks of Solid Guard. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me. This rich boon from shore, my lord. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Uh. There. 
Now it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go which way, whichever way they want, and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. There we go. Oh shoot! No! No! <laughs> Damn it! It's a good thing I saved recently. Oh, they've still... <gasps> this is our first direct sighting of an actual ancient guardian. That's so cool. I love it. Oh. I hope that was a cat that I tossed off the mountain. Whoa! That was a hell of a ragdoll. Nice. Oh, nice. It's not working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are under siege. Explain yourselves. What does it look like? We're here to rescue you. And yet, you cannot even open a door. <laughs> You're really not in a position to be picky, sir. Whoa there. Up, Gerd. Oh. Vampire. Oh, that was cool. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Aaron Thar. Thank you, Nexus. Okay, uh, we are almost done here. Just a couple things I want to do. I need to match the colors. better. Mm. Should do something about that cap up there, but that's all right for now, I guess. I also have to find a bed in here. I want to skip time to local daylight and take a picture because that will probably end up being the cover photo for this stream. Uh, let's see. We also have to figure out the layout for the ship because that's now going to be different. Okay, that's our hatch out of here. So I don't have very much on the top deck. Oh, that's also the bridge. <laughs> ah, perfect. Okay. Okay, so it is 22.09 local time, so roughly, you know, 10 p.m. So let's go for maybe 10 hours local. <laughs> Which is 21 hours 
universal time or earth time. But that's okay. We're very tired. Now, the boys does not interest me at all. I really have zero interest in that kind of hyper-violence. Does not appeal in the slightest. It's one thing in a video game. It's completely different watching TV. Okay. I like superhero movies, although I'm kind of burning out on them. It really depends on the character the movie's about. Like, I was really into it right up until the uh, end of the Infinity Saga with the Marvel stuff. I've caught a few things since then, but my interest has really taken a nosedive since. There's just so much of it. Which is, you know, it's not a problem as such. It's just something I'm a lot less interested in now. I think that'll probably do. But they're also unique and different in their plotline and you have to wait so long between the movies, yes. I'm in the same place as you for superhero movies. After Endgame, I was like, well, that wraps that up. Let's look at something else. Yeah, there are a few storylines that I really enjoy. Like, I loved the Ms. Marvel TV series and I'm looking forward to the team up between her and Captain Marvel. And, uh, you know, there's a few other things out there. Like, I, one of these days I've got to get around to seeing Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and just all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I no longer feel any particular need or desire to catch every single thing that Marvel puts out. You didn't even make it to Civil War? Fair. It is a lot. Okay, I think that will do for the time being. I'll see if I can get a better picture later. I'm not sure this planet makes for the most photogenic scenes, but uh, that'll do for the time being. Now we need to get back to the eye. Could be, Jarek, but you can also look online and see what you would need to add to regular popcorn you make at home to turn it into stuff like that, which would honestly probably be better than what you buy in the store anyway. Okay. Let's go to the eye. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. No, nope, not the USA. Oh 
though we did slow the ship down a fair bit, didn't we? <laughs> That's okay. It's temporary. Without the additives, yes. It's the additives we're actually talking about, though. My attention's glue is on the station the monitors. Software. Check with the Wanna others. Want to test the computer over there? Help us. If you could just give my ingenious software a test run. Okay. Test connection. Check now in on everyone. Some fine Lend a hand. Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Okay. Just a wrench. Should be quick. You pick up a wrench and help tighten down the equipment, but there's a spark and a small explosion of smoke from one of the electric boxes. Well, I'm certain that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Check with Vladimir. Spend so much time looking at the scans. I can see star systems orbiting in my head. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. Oh yes. Many, many times, Nixus. Hell, I lived in the time when you didn't really have a choice because microwaves were uncommon if they existed at all, and so there was no real such thing as microwave popcorn. There was some kind of problem with the repair Sarah and I made. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. In fact, no, no, actually, no, microwave no, popcorn, close, if you were being I'm really honest, it sucks. It's always you, better if you make it properly. The eye the sorts, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Well, not specifically maize, just corn kernels that are specifically for popcorn making. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Does he now? Guessing he won't hand it over easily? Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. I think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. You're saying we need to steal it from him? Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Andresia with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way. So make sure you're ready. Hey, Sketchy, it's going pretty good. Catch a smile out there. Okay. When I do it, I do use the oil. I prefer it that way. It's just, uh, you know, you gotta be careful how much oil you make. Or how much oil you use, rather. Always a satisfying moment. Hello, to your ship. Okay, undock. You failed to do this one stealthy? I actually just put a point in stealth, so this is a good time for us to do this. No sudden moves. Travel to the scow. Man, I can't wait to get up to Class B drives. This lack of power is killing me.
burning it is what you have to watch for. Yeah, especially if you're doing it without oil. The oil helps a lot with heat distribution. If you're not using oil, you can still do it. But it, uh, you know, cooking it evenly is going to be much more of a problem. Oh, boy. All right. So I've got a quick save. You. You don't have business with this cow. Our captain is not taking visitors. I have business with Petrov. It's important. No one uninvited was this cow. Captain's orders. I've heard stories about your magnificent ship. I just want to see it for myself. The captain does love letters. We're just here to trade, nothing else. I hear your captain's a collector. Well, I have stories from all over the settled systems to share. Unfortunately for me, the captain will probably love that. All right. I'll clear you to dock. Keep yourself out of trouble, or we'll have every hired gun in the cargo bay after you. Sounds like a fun challenge, but we're going to try to do this a little more stealth-like. There we go. Popcorn kernel bag? Yep, that sounds like uh, that should work. The key is to get, you know, a type that is specific for popping, and that would do the trick very nicely. Okay, Andrea, come on, or Andresia, Let, let's wait. But frontier, no. Ah. This is not exactly a show ship. What the heck? This is. We'll let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after some no problem, Nixus. Captain's collection. I'm a specialist in procurement, here to offer my services. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? Rude. I've stripped down a few abandoned outposts in my day. Sounds about right. A lot of spare parts out there, if you don't think too hard about the last guy who had them. It is always preferable to be the one doing the scavenging, rather than the alternative. <laughs> You're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Fine. Just ignore me then. Sorry. Got a job to do, bud. See, I want more options in shipbuilding interiors. I want to be able to make stuff that looks like this. Not that I particularly want a ship that looks like this, but I want the option to make a ship that looks like this. Hypothermia can sit in quickly, and the effects can be deadly. We should keep that in mind. It's 22 degrees, Andresia. We're fine. Okay, how the heck do we get over there? I guess we go this way. 
Have a good one, Aaron Lar. Wow, he is using it as a show ship. I assume it's Celsius sketchy, but it doesn't actually specify. Got work to do. It could be either of those or some imaginary scale. Oh man. They don't Enjoy make it easy. You didn't tell me we had visitors. We have visitors. <laughs> Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care. They have scorch marks on them anyway. I noticed. I hear your collection is legendary. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Maybe I'll just take a look around your ship. Enjoy your hospitality. Yes, of course. Go on. Fight Petra, pick the vault lock door, or pickpocket. I don't know that I actually have any skill in pickpocketing. This seems like a good time to you know, save the game again. If it were up to me, we wouldn't let me. Where's the local map here? Oh. Right. Never mind. This game doesn't do local maps. Except on planets. All uh, right. I'm assuming that down there is going to be the actual vault door. I think we're going to go with the pick the lock route because pickpocketing not really my forte, but lock picking. I'm at least half decent at that. You know, people say he's mad, but. I like that Nope. Nope. Local maps in Starfield, yeah. That was a uh, Skyrim voice, Jarek? I didn't know that. You found three popcorn bags with no extra additives, but I'll try making my own. Probably tastes better. I usually find that it does. It's a lot fresher when you do it that way. And I, I, maybe there are people out there who disagree, but I don't care for microwave popcorn. It never tastes as good. This place is a frickin' maze. I'm almost starting to wonder if it would be easier to take it all by force. Oh. Well, fun. That's down here again. Sorry, Andresia.
And we're back here again. How the heck do you get to the vault? I'd love to pick the vault door, if only I could, you know, access it somehow. Behind him to his left is a way down. Thank you. Ah. Talk to Petro. He's glorious. You hear there's alien creatures on board the ship? The captain calls it a zoo. Petra's vault key. That was pickpocketing the key to the vault? You're kidding me. When it said pickpocketing, I assumed it was actually in his pocket. That simplifies things so much. would be the zoo then. This doesn't look like it's where I want to be. You meet Vadek yet? The captain's right hand. I've never seen the man so easily. Wait, what? Okay. Welcome to the restricted area. Yeah. Well. It was seeming like a bit of an unconventional stealth mission. In fairness. get down to it, now that they've gone hostile, this entire ship is ours. Oh, crap. I can't do master locks in this playthrough. I'm gonna have to fix that. Come then. Meet your Ow. Yeah, not very good. I'm actually going to try not to steal too much since it seems that... Oh. Since it seems that I'm giving myself bounty.
I'm just gonna wait here until they lose sight of the fact that they're being robbed. Since I don't like being encumbered, my personal rule for looting are it has to be worth ten times the weight, including the two decimals. Uh, sort of, Jarek. It's a little bit... It, it actually reminds me of a kind of middle ground between Fallout and Skyrim systems. Skill system is not quite like Skyrim. You basically, you have to put points into things like you do in Fallout, but there are limitations. Like, I can't do... I can't put a third point into stealth right now until I finish the challenge. And my challenge progress is uh, I've got to perform a certain number of sneak attacks. So like Skyrim, you do have to actually use the skill, but you also have to put points into particular areas. It's not automatic like it is in Skyrim. So if something weighs a pound, I won't loot it unless it's worth a thousand at least. Ah, see, I have no problem with being encumbered, so I'm okay. Oh, we're back here. Mix of Skyrim and Oblivion, then. I am not super remembering the Oblivion system. So, so much for my super stealth mode. Ox we weapons key, very nice. The Oblivion one was the most fun if time-consuming, aka the worst leveling system in gaming. I didn't like that unless you spent time grinding up skills in an entirely non-immersive way, your level ups were doomed to be very suboptimal. There. Looks like this is our only way out. This would be a really good time for me to have that one ability that I wish I had. I've missed Andresia. I like Barrett, but I think Andresia might be my favorite.
Damn, sir. <laughs> Truth Seeker, welcome on in. I wonder... We're gonna have to fight the ship itself once I undock, aren't we? Come on, Andresia. Oblivion's the one game where I felt my gear and rings did the most. I think that's the upside of a system like Oblivion's. Hopefully, the rumors are true and it's going to be getting a remake. I'll probably have an easier time playing it at that point. The Adoring Fan is the best st stalker, I mean companion. I don't have the Adoring Fan. Why am I potentially in danger on my own ship? Excuse me? And the best carrying companion. I actually... This might be somewhat blasphemous, but I keep forgetting to use any of my companions as pack mules. Thanks to the artifact, guys. Sorry about the casualties. I'll catch you later. Okay. This is where I might find myself suddenly regretting massively increasing the mass of my ship and sacrificing all of that maneuverability. Bye-bye. Hopefully the artifact doesn't count. I don't care about the rest of it, honestly. That's what I'm concerned about. If they take the artifact, I have to reload. Nope, they did not take the artifact. We're okay. So, it's all good. Okay. Oh, I won't ask. Just no spoilers is good. I appreciate that. No, I don't think the artifact counts. It's because I went around and I stole so much other stuff. And I've managed to get a bounty on myself because of it. I think it's fine. The artifact is a special case. All right, let's get out of here.
Really, Elstara? Interesting. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to go to the eye. That was silly. Not cleared for l Seriously? Okay, fine. We're gonna go to Garen then. Did you know about the whole item laundering trick at the den? Uh, know about it? No. But I kind of inferred that you could sell stuff to the den, and if you buy it back, it will no longer be regarded as stolen because you bought it. So I didn't technically know about it, but it is logical. Very legal, super legal, the most legal, exactly. Also, three minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in three minutes. Especially when you just do sell, then buy back for the same price, and it removes the stolen tag. Very nice. I probably should have done that. And then gone to my outpost to clear my bounty. Ooh, level again. Come in. Come in. A light in the darkness. Uh, what's going on? The what happened? gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Hey, Volgrax. Space is going great. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Sounds like trouble. I'm heading over there. Oh boy. What the heck? He already left. Said he was going to the lodge. Oh boy. Hold on, Vladimir. We're coming for you. Oh, the hunter. We've met him. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. What did you do to our friends? They called me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. If anyone is hurt on the eye, you're dead. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That Starborn Pascal is after the artifacts! Take them. Pack up the collection. Move it somewhere they can't find it. He is right. We leave the artifacts. The Starborn will have them. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. I'm not leaving anyone. I'm going to the eye to rescue our friends. That Starborn has already overwhelmed everyone on the eye. We need to stay here. I've killed more than a few of those already. Artifacts. I... I'll get started. 
Hopefully okay. this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Oh yes, I'm find somewhere to take cover. I'm so deeply into the Starfield. Uh, but I will be back in just a few minutes. I need to take another break. So if you guys uh if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good time to do it. I'm just gonna play some clips to run over the ads. So if you do have to watch ads, you're not gonna miss anything. I'll be right back. That's all good. Well, <laughs> that was awkwardly placed. That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow. What? Oh my god. Maybe, Carne, maybe. Okay, Bacon took it out. You'll never find me. I'm a ghost. See, spooky ghost. Don't hunt Loke. Oh my god, she. She hunted Locust and killed her. I hope they're not here for this place. Uh, that was not me. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Look! Cat! Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. Oh, 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 perfect. Look at that! I got all of them. That is awesome. Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Unless I get another coughing fit, which seems pretty likely. See? Die. Thank you. Holy sh**. Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh. Whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. Okay, I am back. And excellent, Truth Seeker. Definitely welcome. Okay. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. I just need a little time. 
check on Walter. Are you all right? Uh. Okay. He seems a little tough. Well, I put 150 hours of just doing random stuff before I finished the Into the Unknown main quest starter. What am I at currently? Hang on, where's Steam? Steam, where are you? There we go. Between two playthroughs, I play a lot off stream in a separate playthrough, a separate save file. I have 282 hours so far. Is taking the hunter on optional because he doesn't seem like he's going to go down easy. 212 hours total, still put off the main story for a long time. Level 48 now and thinking maybe you need to do it. I would definitely recommend doing at least some of it. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Are you all right? Yes, Vograx, that is correct. Can't shoot him in the knee, huh? Or even the shin. Maybe I don't fight him and just run around. This seems like the kind of guy that we're gonna have to fight again eventually anyway. Keep Noel covered. Noel covered, okay. I have all the artifacts. Good. There's an old escape to the above. Come on! Ah, I remember that. That means we're going down here. Can I just quickly take a few missions? Amphibious Foothold. Would you please let me through? Thank you. Okay, so that's where the door opens up to. Oh, 
I sense a new SSNN story coming up. Baseboard it is. Oh, we can, I'm sure, get a story to SSNN, even if we have to go to the guy in the den. Whether or not he's able to do anything with it, that's another issue that I don't have to worry about personally. I absolutely love it, Rocky Man. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Game of the Year still has to go to Baldur's Gate 3, but this is up there. I, I adore it. It's so good. Oh, I absolutely do, Truth. Or at least I did while I had stories to feed them. The armillary, is that what the artifact collection is? <laughs> we didn't mean the Starborn any harm. Why are you doing this? Interesting. Huh. Okay. All right. Don't know, Rocky Man. We'll have to keep going to find out. My ship is a little slow right now. I'm still Class A, and I've got it decked out as if I were running a Class B or C freighter. But I did just upgrade my ship uh, engineering skill, or design, rather, so I'll be able to fix that soon. I should be able to install Class B components now, once I can afford it.
Oh crap, Sarah. Okay, come on, come on. Sarah! Sarah, we're here! We're here! There has to be something I can do. I can patch you up. I can fix this. You... you gave me a home, Sarah. Another chance. Don't leave me now. She's... She's gone. Well, that's different for this kind of game. Wow. I'm going to kill the hunter, no matter what it takes. We are undone. Constellation has lost a part of itself. We cannot change that. You're alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. Did the hunter have other starborn with him? Not many sights to see before I lost the lights. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Ooh. Yeah, I should probably warn you guys. Uh, we're into spoiler territory. I actually kind of want to push the main story today because I'm streaming for such a long time. I've heard a lot of really good things about the new game plus, and I'd kind of like to see that. I don't necessarily know that we're going to get to it today, but maybe. Okay, I admit, uh, my famous personality wasn't so much help with this one. What happened? Starborn ship came in nice and quiet. Just happened to look outside and see it dock. Everyone came running, but uh, no one. Doors open, no one there. Vladimir took one step towards the ship and then boom, he's in the air. Slammed those impressive triceps of one of the consoles. Cloaking device, maybe? Or one of those powers from the artifacts. Guess they're more than just a party trick, huh? As long as you're all right, Barrett. I'll be fine. I just uh, need to lie down for a bit longer. I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get outdrawn. I got a good look at him before he knocked me senseless. I know that stance, that arrogance. The hunter works alone. Back at you. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be moving around too much for a bit, uh, but I'll be all right. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that, Carne. I don't actually recognize this part of the station. I don't think I explored here. Okay, what else do we have to do? Is that sending me back to my ship? It kind of looks like it might be. I can't believe they actually took out Sarah. I know she's not necessarily the most popular character in the game, but I like her. Okay. Inaccessible. Vladimir! Oh, thank goodness! Sarah. She's gone. <laughs> we... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. The hunter said he was leaving us alone. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting me on the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fridge or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. 
We can keep them on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grav drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after. You can now build... Oh, that's what the armillary is. On your ship or at your outpost. So build the armillary on your ship. Go to the new armillary screen inside your ship's cockpit. To build the armillary at one of your outposts, go to your outpost and enter build mode. There will be a new out new quest category that contains it. Okay. Excellent. There we go. So, I guess it's time to go work on completing those 30 unique ship upgrades or components that we need to use. So, let's go see if we can do that. Barrett's kind of quirky and very protagonist. It can be grating, but he's not a bad guy. I like Sarah, and I like Barrett. I understand that a lot of people don't, and they have their reasons. But I like both of them. Heck, in my off-stream playthrough, I actually ended up marrying Sarah. It's been a while since I traveled with her, but I did for quite some time. They're fine too, Nixus. I like, uh, Andresia's probably my favorite companion to travel with. Oh. I didn't want to do that. Have it. Interesting. Why is it sending me here? What's going- oh, that's just generic quest marker for the outpost. Okay, I don't have a lot of cash is the problem. We'll see what I can do with the funds I have. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's let's cancel. I did need to go into the cockpit now that I remember. Andresia has a nice backstory. Barrett thinks he can use his charm for everything. I'm Team Andresia, followed by Sam. Sam's okay. I like Andresia because she's a loner. I like Andresia because she's really into the whole stealth game. You can now move the armillary. Starborn attacks are more likely wherever the armillary is placed. If you choose to keep the artifacts in your inventory, then attacks are more likely everywhere. <laughs> Great. That's wonderful. I'm not a big Western fan, but I do like space Westerns. 
Okay, now where did it stick that? It said I can move the armillary. Does that mean move it to outposts? Where does it actually go in the ship itself? Because it doesn't seem to have modified my layout at all. Okay, what... Okay, so I've still got the 144 mm toroidal reactor. Let me take a quick look here at our reactor options. I should be able to go Class B now. The only problem is going to be affording one of them. Oh, I can do some of them. I can do the 102DS mag inertial reactor. That'll give me 2.24. What have I got now? Is it actually worth paying that much? 23 to 24? I'm going to wait. It's not worth it. It's just in the ship, but you don't see it? Okay, fair enough. So, I should probably wait until I've got a massive central outpost with a bazillion turrets and lots of companions who are armed to the teeth before I set it down on a particular place then. I guess the advantage of going Class B would be I could install better drives, but I can't afford the drives, so that would not be much of an advantage right now. I think we're going to have to go on a massive selling spree. I need cash. Speaking of cyberpunk, I'm not going to be doing it right away. Like, maybe November, December, we'll get to it. But I do have the new DLC for cyberpunk. And I do want to start a new playthrough. Especially because I never actually finished the game. And uh, we're going to do some cyberpunk with the new 2.0 update and the DLC and all that fun stuff. Yes, it definitely looks like that. However, will I survive? Salvage rights? Salvage rights are yours. Thanks again for the help. You see out. Thank you. It's funny because you get salvage rights regardless, so that's just kind of the polite option. Yeah. I always loot regardless. Okay, I think that's about it. You're welcome to pay me. I don't think I've ever actually used that one yet. Spaceship debris.
I do not understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. Sometimes you just gotta put up with it. Okay, let's do some business, sir. Here, I thought you were just wasting my time. Well, I try, but let's see what you got. Oh no, I don't want to buy. Hundred and eighteen weapons. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of need to sell. Shoot, we're gonna have to travel the space lanes a little bit. All right, what's up? Well, we'll make the rounds, but I should have no shortage of funds once I offload stuff. I need to talk to you. Give me an option. Welcome to Sick Hearts Out. Sure, I have. Crap. <laughs> this could take a while. Or start building that Scrooge McDuck money pit out of guns? That's a dangerous money pit. I'm a little bit of a hoarder in this game, True Seeker. My ship has quite a bit of cargo capacity and I like to fill it up. Tower. You know, I went to chef school. The sad thing is, a hundred and eighteen guns is not excessive for me. That just means that I've forgotten to go and do my rounds for a little while. Ideas about testing out my products here. If security doesn't stop you, I will. I'm just hey, here to sell the crap, sir. The name's Ken. Let me know if you have any questions. I know these weapons like the back of my hand. Likewise, let me know if you need any help. I'm always happy to talk shop. I'm what a lot more interested in talking power? credits. Well, then you're in the right place. I'm open for business. Come on. You should stop by the tranquility shop before you go, too. Delilah there is sweet and loves a good chat. Great. Of course, you're probably here for the neuro amps. No. Ryujin stores right across the lobby. You should poke your head in even if you aren't looking to buy. I forgot I'd never actually talked to this guy before. I think you'll be impressed. We only carry the best at Arboron. Okay. Well, wow, that did not... Ugh, okay. Come back soon. I'm gonna have to. 
Yes, we can. I've got like three of them. I should check and see if uh, there are upgrades available. This is the only shop in town where you'll find Nero ants like these. Plenty of good stuff. Here, take a look. Nope, no marks threes yet. Okay. But yeah, they have a variety of them. They give you bye bonuses bye. to various skills. For example... I've got the Nero Boost, which gives you a plus 10% Intimidation chance. The Nero Calm, which gives you a plus 10% Diplomacy chance. And the Nero Tack, which gives you a plus 10 Instigation chance. I like to think of myself as convincing. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed there doesn't seem to be one that just gives you a flat persuasion chance. We have a moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Of course. I have a huge inventory to choose from. I'm sure you do, sir. I'm more interested in your huge collection of credits, though. Tell everyone you know about our story. Ryujin would never be unethical, legally speaking. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, don't. No. Damn it. Crap. <sighs> well, that happened. I'll leave that to the lawyers and PR guys. So we have to go and do all that selling all over again. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it doesn't crash often, especially after you know, they've updated a few times. It crashes less often now, but it does crash on, on occasion. It'll probably happen a few more times before I end stream, because I am going, like, uh, I started at, what, noon? I'm not going to be ending before midnight, and I'll probably end up doing, like, a 15 or 16 hour stream today. Uh, oh. Oh, that's not that bad. Now I don't remember what I had gone to. We did the Trade Authority and then Sigheart, right? Then we went over there and that was the wrong one. Excuse me. So we have to go back to Ryujin Tower. I'll stop here first. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Of course. Yeah, 108. That's not too bad. Okay. Tell everyone you know about our store. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Hi. Welcome to Arboron. Hey, thanks for stopping. Good to meet you. Likewise. What brings you to Ryu? Well, that you're in, though. You should stop by the train. Of course. You. Sure. Have a look. In commentary on Restream, done video highlighted that was an annoyingly short one. Don't even have time to warm up before it's over. I'm sorry about that. But welcome back. I think I'm going to focus on some of the less expensive guns so that I can get rid of more mass for the credits.
19 drum beats. I don't think I can afford to sell all of these. Okay. And I think that's officially it for Neon. We have to go elsewhere to offload more. That's true on Star Up. I usually just hit the main strip, though. It's fine. Nope. Come on. We're going to go back to Alpha Centauri. Interesting. I have to return to the lodge. Or at least it's not giving me the other options. Did you hear about the bug with rehoming on a station? No, I don't think I did. Oh, I see. The aftermath of the attack on the city. This is not Terror Morph related. We already did that part. So this is the Hunter related. And so do we. I wonder if any of the shops here are open. If you capture a ship, take it to a station, claim it, and set it as your new home ship, all of them in one go. There's a non-zero chance that it'll break badly. Suddenly everything gets super bright, and when you attempt to leave, you'll be in New Atlantis. When you launch from New Atlantis, it'll follow you and cause all sorts of issues, as in all of New Atlantis. Oh boy. Well, luckily, I'm not inclined to use bugs to claim uh, you know, actual space stations. I figure if it's even remotely possible to do that, they will probably introduce a way to do it legitimately in an expansion. And I'll just wait for that. It kind of looks like the stores here might be open. People seem generally a lot less concerned right now at least <sighs> like an afternoon off. claiming new atlantis as a whole and landing it on neon sounds fun <laughs> i'm sure you already know there's no one size fits all solution for personal firearms i'm sure we can find something that suits you We're down to 95.
90, what? Ni- oh, 93, right, okay. 93 different categories, different stacks. So, when I said 120 guns, I meant 120 categories of guns. Who knows how many guns I actually had. An incident? I surely know nothing about that. Definitely was not a key player. They are Anquietus. It's one of my biggest complaints about the game. Three minute warning, guys. We're going to have a break in about three minutes. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes. Give me all your money. I will give you stuff for it. Well, certainly. We're back up to almost 60,000 credits. That's not bad. I can probably do some decent work on the ship with that. Oh, fiscal quarter. Interesting. I like the ones that have names. I might keep hold of that one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they ran out of money. Thank you. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. More money would be good. What are you now? Level 28? I think so. Maybe 28, 29, 27. I'm not sure. Let's find out. 28, yes. Well, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Uh, tell that to Sarah, sir. Uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? Wow, that... Okay. Good I forget Good sometimes that suits are very expensive and drain money really quickly. Maybe something for a future playthrough. Or a new game plus. What's up? A unique weapon called Unrestrained Vengeance if you do enough damage to the hunter in that sequence. Interesting. Weapons may not sell for as much individually as often, but you can easily make up for them in volume. If I've ever used an Orion. I've collected lots of them. Sarah Morgan's belongings have been moved to the lodge basement. Morale in the lodge has been miserably reduced. 
Now really isn't the time. I know. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think Wouldn't I mind have burning some... some helium out in I'm the serious. Instead of being here, you know? If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Yeah, they're having some PR problems these days. Oh, shoot. We'll have to continue this in a minute. Break is starting. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Thanks, Instara. Quickly, guys. Yeah, yeah, Drop yeah, the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not, I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Did, did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, sorry um, now oh, that we've so we're gonna clip of that one. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> so, once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm gonna bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. What? Why, you bastards. Get ready, here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Nice. Find a single silver coin, carefully polish it, and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. Ooh, okay. Not today. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here, too. It's so weird. Like that. There's the other connector. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's 
fine. <sighs> that was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right. Now just a bit more. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was awkwardly placed. Taking our first look. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Multi kill. <laughs> we are on track to try and find the Death Star. Brand Mock Talking will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Moffus, I love it. That's right, it's called the Grand Moffus. Now, don't just stand there looking at me. Go retrieve those stolen plans. The thief led in an ATST, so get moving. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> Sorry, we have to get out. Amicia! This way. Sorry, dude. It was you or us. I picked us. No blaster? Your move. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. So uncivilized. There we go. <laughs> Commander, contact your troops. Tell them to move to the higher levels. Very good, sir. Whoa. The time has come. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Manual of style? Be nuts. Fuck! <laughs> Gophers! Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No! <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes. Sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point and click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. 
Okay, I'm back. And thank you guys for respecting the spoiler thing. Uh, let me see. He said our part in glimpsing the unity was over. That felt like a trick, something to throw us off the path. I was thinking about that too. It has to be related to the artifacts. Hey, Amish. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Anstara. Exactly. Somehow. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? Where is the Sanctum Universum, anyway? It's right here in the city, just a block or so from the lodge. Cyberpunk 2? Yeah, I'll be getting to that in... maybe October, but uh, more likely... November, December. I've got the expansion. I've got Phantom Liberty. I haven't tried it yet. I'll be getting to that. How are you liking it so far? Uh... All right, why not? And it would seem there is nothing to lose in doing so. Exactly. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Well, that's a fair chunk of money. Hey, uh, let's not stick around the lodge too long. We should get out. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is where they stuck all of Sarah's stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm not looking for tips. I'm not even going to start the game for a while yet. Well, there's always New Game Plus. We'll see what happens. Oh, I was already planning to. I was already planning to. With a major systems overhaul of that magnitude, and it looks like it is a pretty severe overhaul, there's no way I'm just going to carry on with the same character. going on here. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? We need to talk about unity. Oh. Yeah, how humanity comes together, uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps we should talk about this inside. Okay, and we're not talking about the game engine.
retroactive in the future. Privacy. Why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here? It started with the discovery of these anomalies, the artifacts. They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. We know it's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering his meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. Everything costs more. Okay. Well, I assume then that there's ways to grind for money and or you get larger rewards as well at some point. So that can be accounted for. Let's hear this story then. There must be more to it. In my story... The pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But... What if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? A way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave. Infinitum addendum. That's an odd saying, very specific. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Fine, I'll talk to them. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully she'll be willing to talk to you as well. Okay. Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Knock yourself out, Mateo. I'll head down to the well. A hundred and forty one K. Wow. Update two hit and boom after implants. I'm poor again. Wouldn't be so bad necessarily if you're going for a character that doesn't rely on implants as much. Just doesn't add up. I said as much. There were degrees. I'm not saying completely unaltered. I am not a stuck. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something. Oh, please, take a look. 
Might as well take what money she's got. Seventeen maelstroms. Well, oh, that didn't last long. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. A street samurai once again? I'll have to take a look at it. I'm not going to worry about it too much until I'm going to start playing. I've got Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield keeping me busy. Plus, I'm getting in the mood to maybe take another look at... Uh, what is it? MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries again, because there was a really good Steam sale on a bunch of the DLC, which I've never played before. A lot of people in need. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Keeper Aquila sent me. I need to talk about the Pilgrim. We understand that you are busy, but this might be important. Anything you could tell us would be helpful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim, but since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Let's hear it. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asked them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Maybe there's a message hidden in what he was saying. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Talk to the Varun prisoner. Oh, excuse me. I'm doing my first ever play of Cyberpunk. Decided to focus points into body and blunt weapons. I'm not far into the game, but I have this fun ability where you can change into people while blocking and knock them onto their... Oh, charge into people. That makes more sense. While blocking and knock them onto their butts. That sounds fun. Ripper Docs used to carry about 20k in funds for buying stuff in the trade menu. Now they, ca now they carry 320k. Okay. It's decided then. Bethesda needs to talk to the uh, cyberpunk guys and take notes. I would love it if vendors carried that much cash in this game. All Ripper Docs have the same shit. No, now no more scouring the map to find out who has that implant you saw. Okay, on the plus side, that sounds very convenient, but on the other side, I kind of like it when they have individual inventories. It's more annoying, granted, but it feels a little more, I don't know. There is something to be said for it, even if it's less convenient. I'm not sure whether I'll like that change or not. I, I mean, I will like it. I don't know if I'll like it 100%. Yeah, immersive, but it's not just that.
something to report? They're just gonna let me walk in? Okay. A visitor? I have all the company I need. I know you've talked to Keeper Aquilus about the Varun faith. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. Few are willing to accept the truth, but at least he has reached out to you. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Uh, because they all have the same stuff, you can no longer accidentally lock yourself out of the good leg implants. There is that. That's true. Keeper Aquila spoke of a pilgrim. I need to know more about him. If the Keeper has been to see you, perhaps he has mentioned it? Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent. He does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down. But the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I think I understand. Then we are done. Leave me. I have... Things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. Here, I have something for you. That's nice of you. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Two hand slots. Interesting. So, do you mean like one for each hand? Or what's the deal there? Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Smart link in one hand, ballistic coprocessor. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really good change. I like that one a lot. Sadly or sadly for some friends who wanted it, they don't seem to have implemented the ability to dual wield pistols. That's a shame. Uh, long stream and it's not even subathon. Yeah, I, I I probably should do subathons more often, but I don't tend to do them, Grogu. How's it going? It's good to see you. Maybe in October we'll do some subathons. It is my nine year anniversary month. Some enemies now dual-wield pistols. That's interesting. That's a little weird that they would give enemies the ability to do that, but the players can't. If it's this far out from the commercial district, it's a little weird that they sent us there instead of to the mask district. It would have been faster, I think.
Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? The Enlightened story used the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? The Enlightened story used the number second and two. I spoke to the Varun Zealot. She said Janan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find... Those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? In your story, the Pilgrim contemplates infinitum addendum. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in, dumb. in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Indum, that's the name of the star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. Or great disappointment. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Oh, I love that, Amish. So I can get the best car in the game really quickly then. Excellent. There's something sacred out there bringing everything together. Only total conviction will bring us the truth. We are being tested now. Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? Isn't it already sanctified? Doesn't the sanctum have grav pilgrims? Yes and no. We believe God is out there waiting for us in the universe and that the grav jump will bring us closer. But is gravity itself an article of faith? Cars with guns? Oh, that's awesome. And so you think this word unity describes a similar miracle? The processes of the universe are all in accordance with some greater intent. Where does one draw the line between science and revelation? I think we must be careful in how we describe things. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Okay, let's do that. Go to Indum 2. Time, I wish to speak to you. Again? I need you to know how much it means that you came for me. There is no way to properly thank you or to repay you for what you have done. I quite literally owe you my life. I'm so glad I was able to get to you in time. As am I. As grateful as I am, it is hard to feel that my life does not come at too great a cost. Still can't find the we're in a video game option. Yes. Just looking forward to seeing GLaDOS greeting you again. <laughs> That's still my favorite part of that game. I love all the references they scattered all over it. It's really good. You deserve to live as much as anyone else. Thank you. I shall try to remember that. I know. We all know. Sara's loss is a huge blow to Constellation and to each of us personally. 
but it could have been so much worse if you had not acted. We did this to ourselves. The Starborn warned us, and we didn't listen. They're going to pay for what they've done. I know you are grieving. We all are. But revenge should not be our primary motivation. Doesn't have to be Sarah's primary to still be a motivation. Always constellation. She would not want us lashing out in revenge. She would want us to get to the bottom of all this. We will press on. We will continue our search. And we will learn what these starborn are trying to keep from us. Now we truly know the stakes are too high to do anything else. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. What the hell? It has been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. They need cooldowns on these. Talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. No repeatable missions. Interesting. Even us heathens can be worth getting to know. Yes, I have found that to be true. It was, and is, still a surprise. You must understand, I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. Oh, there are now and repeatable missions. Gotcha. I lost them. It's never easy losing a friend. It's not something I have much experience with. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force, seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends, and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. You're worried that they blame you for leaving them? No, maybe. I, I don't know. It all happened so fast, and I've had so much time since then to replay it in my head. Wonder if I should have done things differently. In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone, to be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. If it will ease your mind, I'm in. I am not sure I will find any comfort in it, but I think it is important nonetheless. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. Okay. Andresia is now undismissible. Uh, 
Uh, no, nope. we want the door. We're gonna go to Indum first. I'm not too worried about Google Trends, Mr. Soggy Roman. The only interest that concerns me about this game is my own. Because How's it going, Mr. Soggy Roman? It's good to see you. Uh, because Cyberware is no longer tied to your stats, you can now make a Netrunner V with a blood pump and second heart, so you're not so damn squishy. Nice. Glad to hear it. We're going to do the thing. We'll go talk to her. Find her friends, eventually. I don't know if we'll get to that today, but we'll do it eventually. Let's see. Indum. No time for you, sir. Oh. I guess I've got time for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Starborn Guardian, so this is... I guess we don't have a choice then. There's your death. I guess it's a good thing I have invested in some upgrades. <laughs> that was not so terrible. The mono wire is now the Netrunner melee weapon of choice, and smart weapons are your ranged weapons of choice. There's a perk you can get that refreshes to rim every time you put down an enemy with a smart weapon. Nice. Hydrocarbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. It doesn't look like I've been here at all before. It's unusual to encounter these little guys first. Usually the smaller ones take a while longer.
three minute warning, guys. We're gonna have a break in three minutes. Baldur's Gate 3 currently has three times as many viewers. I'm just spilling some of my No Man's Skyrim. Gork can enjoy whichever game he wants. Hopefully, I would be playing it too if I could. Yeah. Well, playing the most popular games, I think that's actually done some pretty serious harm to my channel over the last two years. I'm going to start to retreat from doing that a little bit. I'm going to give at least a month or two of buffer between starting most new big games. I might make some considered exceptions, like City Skylines 2. I'm playing the crap out of that when that comes out. But uh, most big releases, if I play them too fast, it just absolutely kills my viewership. There's too many bigger streamers playing them, and it just does not go well. Someone made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it did not work out. Oh, don't crash again. It crashed again. Uh, well, it's not like I had done anything except actually disembark from the ship, so it's not a bad time. I did a little bit of scanning, but we can do that anytime. Yeah, and the crashes are getting less often as they patch it up. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I'm not worried about that at all, Truth Seeker. That's not a high priority side mission for me. I've got way more than I need for that side mission anyway. It's just that it's all on the ship, not on my character inventory. I'll get around to it one day. Oh, actually, it looks like it's about time for me to start that break. Uh, so if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or anything, this is a really good time. We're going to have some ads playing. I will run clips over them. So if you do have to watch ads, you're not going to be missing anything of substance. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although, I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but that was impressive as hell. They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. At least he's enclosed. <laughs> oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. 
At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was so close. Fight with me. Nice. Ah, no, no, duck. No. Oh, God, no. What the hell? Did that thing just accidentally help me? Gotcha. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Aaronar. Interesting that it already counts me as being at Pilgrim's Rest. Actually gonna quick save here. Welcome back, Truth. concerted effort to survive here and yet it would seem it did not work out interesting pilgrims writing too so here is the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine, or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try, gently as I might, to nudge their minds along the right path. There are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. At last a bit of peace. A piece of peace. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? Have they driven me at mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own and that even if it only it exists, that is sufficient for me to believe in everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time I act alone, for now.
Myself is a formidable opponent. I should have expected as much, but vanity is, thankfully, not among my vices. Regardless, it turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man, or whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. Today, in a soft voice, my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question. I, it was asked honestly, and I answered as best I could, but even if my closest confidant here can fail to grasp the most basic of these truths, why am I bothering to explain any of it to any of them? Every word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard, misremembered, misunderstood, and mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. People are necessary, but people are madness. I attempted to withdraw, to go off alone, to commune with the unity in my own way. They followed. Of course they followed. Okay. So can I be more enlightened after enlightenment? That seems like a reasonable question to me. Maybe I just don't get it. Credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them, but I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself, after all. I hope for their sake that they may someday understand, but for my sake I wish to be left alone. I find myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. I imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is notable here? That road does not seem or that road does seem gratifying. Every step is one of intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the pleasures and seeing a more contented version of myself in that future. Then, for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if in I instead embraced the twinges of compassion I feel in my heart, and let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me whenever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died. That road also seems gratifying." I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here is the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. If you came seeking the right answers, you will know what question to ask. What is the unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? People are necessary, but people are madness. Who is your most, most formidable opponent? Myself. Where does, one, where does enduring contentment come from? in stopping and embracing compassion. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you the truth. Tracks pr primer permanently increases ballistic weapon damage. I need. Ugh. 
I find so many ballistic weapon ones, but I need energy weapons. I need lasers. Literally. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hilla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting hides the truth. No worries, Aranlar. Okay, let's see what we got. Now I'm hiding behind a stinger. Quiet. Okay. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I forgot to go straight to the cockpit. Nice to see you. Hang on. Scanner anomaly. Don't mind if I do. since we happen to be here.
I like that they're tiny whales. That's really awesome. Have a fantastic one, Hammer. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Catch you again soon. Also, keep in mind, this is a super long stream, so I'm going to be on for a long, long time. I'm not stopping until the early morning hours. In my time zone. Temple new. anything over here I need to get. There we go. Little rewatch of Voyager just watched when Neelix managed to arouse... Oh, man. Yeah, Neelix got a lot of hate. I always kind of enjoyed him, though. I like Voyager. There we go. Maybe one day, I know this is asking a lot of a game like uh, Starfield, but maybe one day it will explain what these quantum essences are for. Don't tell me. Your abilities are truly 
speaking of my abilities, what one did I just get? Gravity Wave, Creator's Peace. I don't know this one. Fill your foes with the silent calm of the universe, compelling them to temporarily abandon their weapons. Interesting. Let's see if I can get back to the ship before I freeze to death. That's gonna leave a mark. There was something that looked almost like it was cloaked or camouflaged, but it was just a, you know, semi-transparent plant from a distance. Right there. I was in my ship's landing bay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Beast Hunter, lead lined and repulsing. want to take a look at these. I thought I saw something. Maybe another constellation pack. Superior constellation pack? I've... Wow. Hang on. I need to check that out. I think that might be the first piece of superior equipment I've actually gotten. That's the highest quality tier. Uh, let's see. Suit. I can't do much with it, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of skills invested in suit stuff yet.
Hey, Greeny. So, despite every attempt the universe is sending to try to make things difficult for you, the move is going reasonably well-ish. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, where to next? All the way out here. Hyla system. You are moved. Excellent. So how is the new place then? Oh, perfect, Greeny. I'm very relieved to hear that. I know this system. We're not hanging out here. Bye-bye. Still do not have a place to live yet, though. Ew. Well, that's not so great. The key... Interesting. It's a couple planets here that look significant. There is no new place, though, yeah. Well, it's part of the process, I guess. Hopefully you find something to make that link. Okay. That one looks promising. Rock, cold, thin CO2, weak, marginal, biological water. Well, okay. Could be better. Could be worse. Goodbye. <laughs> Caught me at exactly the wrong moment. Oh. Not bad. Okay, so I can't rank this up yet. I have to complete the challenge progress and install 30 unique ship modules. So we can't do starship design yet. Um, I could get my second point in space shoot, space, space shoot design, space suit design. Uh, weapon engineering, I can't do point three yet. I could take more surveying. I could do more research methods. 
I could take my rifle certification. I could get more persuasion. I think we'll do weightlifting so I can carry more ridiculous amounts of stuff. Okay, temperate temperature, that's good. That will help with my hypothermia. High O2, slightly heavy gravity, lots of flora and fauna, fair number of resources. Sounds good. to harvest any organic materials now would be the time oh crap I hate worlds that have really big hunting bugs and heavy gravity. It's not so bad if the gravity's light. That statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? Uh great. That means we're gonna go on a bug hunt. The one two buck for a split second contemplated murder. Oh, I, it's been too long since I watched Voyager. I don't remember. It's been a few years. Oh, crap. They seem weirdly non-hostile until I actually begin hostilities, though. I'm not sure what to make of this yet. Unfortunately for them, it's good XP. Don't tell me this is a puzzle. Oh, shoot. It's a puzzle. Okay. I'm going to put it at the singular end.
go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation. Okay. Yeah, good idea, Truth Seeker. Even be careful about asking questions unless you know it's something that I've already done or encountered. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Close enough, Andresia. Scorpius system. I don't think I'm familiar with that. It's probably further out than I've been before. That's okay, though. Let's see where it is. That's not that bad. Oh, come on. Can we go back to... How about Cheyenne? I'll cheat. We'll just land. We'll use that as our starting out point. Why can't I be behind a lion or a ram but no an arachnid? Yeah, exactly. There were so many bugs in this game. That can't be right. That's... Oh, it's... Scorpius is a constellation. Okay. Keeper Aquila sent me to find the true meaning of unity. Well, that's unexpected. Okay, interesting. I personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot of getting those answers you must desperately want. Fine, I'll begin the docking procedure. I don't want a target lock. How do I dock? There we go.
Interesting that their docking module is compatible. I have a theory about the Starborn. Hey, Hex, how's it going? of laugh. We should not have come here. Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. All we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship. Demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. You're talking in circles. I came to learn about the unity. That might be more productive. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? Sarah, it can't be you. I saw you die. Let's stay silent for this, actually. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. Yep. One of me, at least. Yep. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe. And the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. That pretty much confirms the theory I mentioned a few minutes ago. I think the starborn has everything to do with New Game Plus and just cycling through over and over and over again different universes and different lives. I need to see this unity for myself. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Three minute warning, guys. Alternate realities? Yeah. I, I like alternate timelines myself. Or, you know, the sliders thing. This is actually starting to give me really serious Babylon 5 vibes. It's really cool. Keeper Aquilas? No, some other version of the same person. You're learning. My other 
herself wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help one of you, we combine our artifacts, enter the unity. Whatever war is going on between you two, I want no part in it. How can you believe you can trust him? I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Oh, this is getting really cool. I like this a lot. Okay. The only difference, the theory I had was more that there actually is only one Starborn, and it's me, and I'm at the very beginning of the journey, and they're more advanced. But otherwise, this is pretty much exactly what I was thinking. This is kind of a riff on it, where there's multiple people doing the Starborn thing instead of just the one. I'm sure you have. I'll tell you everything I can. What happens when you enter the Unity? It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? All right, guys, we will continue this conversation in a minute. I need to take a quick break, so if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Oh, my God. Damn it, and Stara... Ah, oh, Jesus. Make little help here. are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This 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 is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll need this. Manual of style? Must be nuts. Hack! <laughs> Gophers! Yeah, don't forget to clip, guys. I want some good Halloween-y clips for October this year. 
when I something happens to me or I do stuff. I'm clipping myself when I think of it, but... Oh my god. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. Time again. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I guess I need to bring Death Stranding back at some point too. It turns out I'm actually only like pretty darn close to halfway through the game. I thought I was almost finished. Uh, also, I'm back. Who was I in your universe? What was I like? I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. Thank you, Anstara. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. So you try to protect the artifacts, keep them from being abused. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. He is kinda like me, I have to admit. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Okay. You might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. The Emissary and their kind only want to control you. What is the unity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. After you attacked the Lodge, you let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. Mm, it's new. 
I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. This guy's very much a version of us, the player who's done New Game Plus enough times that they're bored with all the chatter and just speed run towards the victory points. Our encounter with him is like when we, the player, run into a side quest we've not seen before. Exactly. You called the Emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things. But I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the unity itself doesn't judge. You had this meeting because of me. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Okay. Let's check the mission log, see what we have to do. Leave the Scorpius. I've spoken to the Starborn and learned that the Unity is a gateway to parallel universes. I should ask any other questions I have before I leave. You don't like either of them. I actually like both of them. But I think I side more with the hunter. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself, here, to open the way. Thank you. All I ever wanted was answers. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Okay. In their footsteps. New achievement. I find the interior of this ship comforting. Um... <laughs> what is with these random constructs worker corpses? They always appear outside the temples in this playthrough, but it does not happen in my off-stream playthrough. And now I've got one randomly on my ship? Ugh. That's very weird. Leaving bodies around? Yep, that's definitely it. Okay, Al Ooh, interesting that it's sending me to Alpha Centauri instead of to Sol. Let's see why. Return to the Lodge? Yes, okay. You truly are the random die roll, but your role was construct workers. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Oh, 
find comfort in the idea that the odds of something killing us here are at an all-time low. After what just happened, really? Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sarah. Yeah, about that. I'll be there, Noel, I promise. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Wait for the service, five UT days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. It's the center of a multiverse. We're building the way to it. <laughs> There's an infinite number of me out there. I feel sorry for all of them. Sarah is alive, a version of her from another universe. Um, I kind of want to do this one, but I think in this world, this universe, we're going to go with this option. And we'll try this one later. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Hate to be the responsible one, but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Want to go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Cisco, you should be familiar with it. How many times did you send Barry to other universes? I met a version of Sarah. She told me the Unity creates the Starborn, and they can cross universes. How does he not know the multiverse? I know, right? Apparently in another universe I died and Sarah lived. She's the emissary now, a Starborn. Explains why the Starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? <laughs> One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. This is our mission, to go into the unknown. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. You know it. Now once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Okay. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Thanks, Vladimir. I'll follow up on these. Catch a smile out there. You need a ship with a grav jump range of 21 light years to reach your destination. Grav jump range is influenced by the ship's grav drive, the ship's mass, and your astrodynamic skill. Okay. So, we are now officially bound to actually upgrade our ship. So we're going to have to get to modifying so that we can get up to the 30 new unique pieces that we need to get our Starship design skill up to level 4. I think this time we're going to take the long way around. Just to open up some more of Jemison. How come you choose not to use the Razor Claw? Because it... I only got the Razor Claw fairly late in my playthrough, long after I got the Frontier upgraded far past the Razor Claw's capabilities. 
So the Razor Claw, it really didn't seem all that impressive to me. I have the Razor Claw. I have the option to use it anytime I feel like. But it just doesn't really interest me very much. I can see how it would seem like a really good ship if you've got the unmodified Frontier. But my Frontier was already pretty damn great by the time I got it. So, yeah, It's okay. Oh my god, the irony of my sprain being cured right at this particular moment while I'm jumping down ridiculous cliffs. Most of us would have updated the ladder and not the frontier. Uh, but you see, I also think that the, uh, the Razor Claw has a serious drawback. And that is that your opponents are likely to run away when you pop into a system using the Razor Claw. If I want to fight somebody, I want to kill them and get the XP and maybe loot their ship. I don't want them running away. That's equivalent to them escaping. Why the hell would I want that? That's, that's, that is a fault. That's another big reason why I never use the Razor Claw. Now, I have been thinking it might be fun to turn the Razor Claw into a big, dumb like just basically bulk cargo barge because I know that opponents will still run away from it and therefore its vulnerability will not be as much of a drawback. But the game doesn't really seem to... It doesn't really play out that way. So it's not really worth doing. A razor leaf, yes, whatever. It's funny that they run away for sure, but for looting purposes, yeah, it's less good. Whatever, the Razor Ship, the Mantis Ship. I always just call it the Mantis Ship. There is a particular repair station I want to visit so that we have an easy way out of the city, too. What the heck? CD coming in with the raid. How's it going, Crystal Dragon? It's so good to see you. How was your stream? What's going on? Let me get you shout-outs here. Uh, is the bot not where? Oh, okay, the bot is just slow. It worked. Disney Speedstorm. Okay, that's not familiar. Tell me about Disney Speedstorm. The big Disney game that I see everybody playing these days for the last probably year or two is Dreamlight Valley. How is Speedstorm? What is Speedstorm? I would love to hear all about it. Guys, if you're not following Crystal Dragon, he's been a friend of the channel for quite some time now. He's a really awesome guy, really great streamer. Make sure you go check him out, and I'm sure you will enjoy his content. If you happen to be new here... My name is Gord McLeod. I'm a narrative streamer on Twitch. I play a wide variety of story-driven games, both narrative games that uh, the designers provide the story and more open-ended sandboxy games where you create your own story. I like both styles very, very much. So if that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Yeah, my Whoa! Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir! That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Okay, so it's like a Mario Kart thing. That's really cool. I like seeing more competition arise in that kind of space. Those are fun games. Uh, it sounds like you had a pretty good time with it. Yeah, you can't always, depending on platform, though, on Quietus. I'm not sure if Greeny's actually got a PC set up and working yet and might be watching on mobile, which might make it awkward and or impossible. But if possible, that is exactly what I was getting at. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're back at the starport, but we're on the forbidden other side of the starport now. I guess just where I am, down to 360p, and the video is constantly buffering. Ooh, that is not fun. Okay, so here's the starport. Here's my ship. We're going to take a little bit of a field trip, though. We're going to head to that unknown, which I'm curious to see if it's the same in this playthrough as it is in my other one. In my other one, it's also there, but it's like a, an abandoned ship repair platform. I want to see what happens there. If it is indeed the same thing, or if it spawns differently in different worlds in different save games. I want to see that. I also just want to have a fast travel point available. B 
because it's, well, you just saw what you basically have to do to get around to this side from within the city because you can't easily leave from the starport without fast traveling. Do you see anything useful? Oh, that's interesting, Greeny. It's only with the computer. I don't know what to make of that. I would have expected the opposite, but, you know, I don't know the technical details of what you are connected to and all that. If it's a short-term solution, then, like, just one night, it sucks for today, but hopefully it won't be an issue where you're at next. Interesting. Wind farm. I don't remember a wind farm here. What the heck? I wonder if maybe it's that. No, that's a cave. Okay, so it is procedurally generated. This is not the same as my other save game. It was your happy birthday, Crystal Dragon. It was your birthday stream today, and the community got me a birthday gift of a new emote slot unlocked. Congratulations. That is amazing. I hope you've had an amazing day. Thank you so much for sharing your birthday with us here. What on earth is happening? What the heck? You know, that actually means that the um, the multiple universes thing, the new game plus, is going to be even more interesting than I expected. Because I thought the generation would take the same world, like, you know, um, whatever this one is called again, Jemison, and it would just generate the same. But this kind of means that it's not going to do that. It's going to be different next time through again. That is super interesting. I imagine there will be a lot of commonalities, but I can't wait to see how different things can get. Technically, it's tomorrow, but the stream I did for it a day early in case Steph has plans for your birthday. Yeah, that's a good idea. That gunfire sounds like it's really close by. I'm really curious what exactly is happening. Uh, it sounds like it's died out. Huh. Okay, well... Now we can just fast travel right back.
Okay, so what's next? Final glimpses. Go to Freya 3. Go to Tau Ceti 8. So we're not going to be able to do that, though. Uh, let us instead go to my outpost. No cave near the spaceport, it seems, all the time. Yeah, I don't remember that from my other playthrough either. And of course, Gord stops talking right as I plug in my headset, making me think it broke and having me debug the whole thing for a solid 20 seconds. Sorry about that. This is a super long stream. I cannot speak for like 12, 15, 16 hours nonstop. My throat would die. I can go for a long, long time, but uh, there are limits. I'm only human. Oh, do we have a visitor? Who's coming by? Oh, these guys are going to attack, aren't they? There, Crystal Dragon, but keep in mind that I am going to be celebrating my nine year anniversary as a streamer this coming October 18th. I've been doing this. Oh, yeah, they're bounty hunters. Okay, they're coming for me. Let's retreat back to my defensive line, such as it is. It's not a very good defensive line, but it'll back me up. Where did I put my cannons again? There they are. Yep, I've got the wanted perk. I love it for specifically this reason. It's a constant, slow, but steady trickle of gear that I can sell. Oh, maybe I should be behind the guns. I don't want them shooting me. Nothing there now. Yeah, there is. go. There you are. For some reason those turrets remind me a bit of the portal ones. They remind me of every turret ever created for every video game that features them. It's no surprise it reminds you of the uh, portal ones. Is this the, the Parents Explorer Wanted playthrough? Yeah, I've got Dream Home, I've got Wanted, and what was the other one? Kid Stuff, yes. So yeah, exactly. And yeah, I am also an explorer. That is true too.
Okay. Let's see about tearing this thing apart. Oh, whoops. No. This one. I don't want to buy a new one. Okay. So, I... Oh, well, I'm not short on credits anymore. That's good. So, first... Let's take that out, and we need to replace this. So, we are... Wor oh, we still have the 144mm. We didn't get to replace that. We need a new reactor, and we can now go as high as B-Class. So let's go B-Class 102DS Mag Inertial. That can go there. And we also need an R4000 Alpha Grav Drive. So we're going to go with a better one. RD2000 Beta. That's 19k. That's probably our best bet. Yeah, I can't go Class C yet. Now, how about engines? We're already suffering slowness. I'm almost tempted to get last place with Donald Duck in a race just to see how mad he gets and see him inevitably blow up in his cart about it. That sounds awesome, CD. I saw someone build a ship with only framework and no modules in the center. Apparently it breaks the enemy ship AI that targets center of mass. Yeah, I saw clips of that too. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's see. So these are our Class B engines that we're capable of getting. Ooh, okay. I gotta be careful with the engines. We're already running up against my budget. I might be able to get away with a couple supernovas. Oh, no, I can't do that. Those are Class C. Never mind. Maybe a couple of the Duns? Might need a rework of the... Oh, actually, I, I don't think the ship is as long as my other ship. I might be all right here. Let's see how this slots in. And these have max power 3, those have max power 2, so I'm probably going to have to lose a couple. One error. Unattached modules. Does it? Oh, my shields. Right. Still, oh, yeah. <laughs> there, okay, that's better. Wow, my mobility still sucks. Crap, how does that work? Um, jump range is good, though. are those 11 I can probably do it let's see if I can do it Ooh, very close but I can do it top speed still not great but mobility is a little better not awesome 
Mobility is really taking a bit of a beating. Welcome on in, Monjon. Or Mojo Ninja, sorry. I read that wrong. I'm doing very well. How are you doing? Hmm. Okay, I don't think I've got the funds to do much more to it, so we'll have to play with this and see how it goes. But we got the jump range up to 23 light years, so we're probably okay. Glad to hear that. Okay, now, in theory, we should be able to get to where we need to go. That was easier than I expected, honestly. I want to see the takeoff. Too bad. Okay. Appreciate your consideration. Now, pick them clean for all we care. What's yours will be ours sooner or later anyway. So, keep that pretty little mug of yours alive until it's enough for us to retire, okay? Be seeing ya. Yeah, that's what you think, sir. I think that might be our first bounty defender encounter in this playthrough. That's actually a little surprising. Come on, there we go. How bad can we... Okay, you've done the thing. Warning, folks, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, and there is a reason they're called that. Don't be expecting comedy gold here. If I deliver comedy gold, I have done my job poorly. All right. Why did the man use as little wood as possible when building an extension on his house? He wanted to conserve a tree. Also, two and a half minute warning on a uh, break, guys. I'm going to have to take a break in a few minutes. And uh, that also reminds me, it's now after 6 p.m. 
I'm going to have to stop soon-ish. Probably next break, actually. I, I will have to stop for a little bit. I'm going to have dinner. I'm also going to stop the stream just really briefly. I'm not ending stream, but I'm going to stop it just to break the VOD so that when I'm done this ridiculous 15 to 16 hour stream that I'm sure it's going to end up being, I don't have to go into video editing software and chop the video up so I can upload it to YouTube later. I'm just going to have two VODs I can download and be done quickly. That was worse than normal. Excellent. Then I have succeeded. Uh, okay, where are we going? We have to go. Wow. We have to go quite out there. Do we really have to go through the Crick system? No, we don't. It only looks like we do. Okay, that's good. So it looks like we can get to Cheyenne. Can we just... There. I can only be amazed at how bad they get sometimes, yes. This is Freestar Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila City air. I'm not headed there, but thank you. We have another journey in mind. Okay, so it looks like we have to go here to Mufrid. Never been there before. If I am tearing up from pain, yes. Oh, interesting. Star Station UCN-48. Okay, that seems like it's a bit of an adventure in the making. We will carry on our journey later. I was going to stop in if it was a proper station, but it looks like that's maybe an encounter. I don't necessarily want to do that right this moment. I think we want to continue on, but... Um, I'm going to take a couple minutes, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time to do it, and I will meet you back here in just a few. Take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. <laughs> I don't know, we're doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. But the Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh hey, my what god. what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. Oh, hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Excuse me? What? <laughs> and this is kind of a big assumption. 
assuming that uh, that connection is strong enough to hold all of this. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. More like someone. <laughs> you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. And Stara. Okay, I am back. Ordered pizza, all that went fine, got it, opened a box, and a bee flew into my mom's face. Oh my god. Had to make multiple phone calls and now waiting on an email about it. Holy crap. That's not the pizza surprise you want to get. That's really freaking amazing and terrible. Okay, so next we're going to Shoza. <laughs> you ask for bees on the side. That's the reasonable way to do it. She's allergic? Oh crap. Wow. Starborn Guardian, what the heck? I thought we were truced. Irritating. Okay. That's true. And they did make a point early in the conversation I noted of saying they're not one conglomeration of viewpoints. It's all a whole, like, bunch of individuals. So I guess that's specifically why. <laughs> Actually, do I... I don't have to fight them, do I? Let's see if we can just move on.
Okay, then. Let's get repairs underway. I guess we're just gonna have to get close and can- wait, can I not dock? We're very close already, what the heck? How do I dock? How do I evac them? Give me a minute before you actually answer that. I would like to see if I can... Wait. Do they not even have a docking port? What the heck? Uh, okay, there may not be much I can do there, which is kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? Oh, or maybe that's not actually it. Maybe that's just a relay or something. This is where we want to go. Got it. As it should be truth. I actually very rarely want people to answer, and I'm usually pretty clear when I do. Could we talk? I appreciate the impulse, though. So, we finally have all the answers. And yet, here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. As all good answers do. Talk of the unity of a, a multiverse? Dead friends appearing again? It is all simply too much. You need to catch up on your pop culture from centuries ago. The artifacts, the powers, the Starborn, it all seems to add up. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. We must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the Unity? What if it does nothing the Starborn have claimed? They have no reason to lie to us at this point. How can you be so sure? They have thwarted us at every turn. And now they just give up? They killed Sarah to stop us from getting the artifacts. If they would back down now, then what was the point? What does that death mean? Why put us through any of this? We need to finish what we've started. There's too much at stake to do anything else. When we started this mission, we had no idea where it would lead. That we would lose people along the way. If we had known, would we still have been so keen to get here? We'll see her again in the next world. Everything Starborn have said is true. If you pass into this unity and come out in, in some other universe, look at who they are. And what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Hmm. This is what exploring is really about. Taking risks, venturing into the unknown. Now you sound like Sarah. <laughs> but you are not wrong. I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. Okay. Spitting pokeweed. And your scan shows... Stuff. And things. But mostly stuff. Uh, 
Okay, so gravity is slightly light here. Not the really fun light, though. Rude. Die already. Wow. Okay, and here I was thinking this planet looked pretty nice. I'm not so sure I'd like it as much anymore. Wow, I only installed three unique ship modules. I guess Class C is going to take a bit. Thank you. Uh, in that case, let's maybe get a little more persuasion. I am woefully behind on that. Stop dodging when I'm trying to murder you. get some scanning done while we're here. Interesting. It's green. I was expecting more of a fight. Let's quick save now that I'm here. Entangled? What do you mean, Hadrian? How's it going? Ah, uh, no. First playthrough still. But we did just learn a great deal of backstory and plot information that has shed a great deal of light on what to expect from New Game Plus. Which confirmed a number of theories that, or, you know, variations of a number of theories, which is even more fun and appropriate in a way, uh, to what I had been thinking I could expect. Okay. I'm trying to finish the main story so we can officially get into New Game Plus sometime during this stream. I don't know what the chances of that are. I don't know how long the story actually is, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah, the, um, I'm responding to your distress signal.
<laughs> Thank you, Adrian. New Game Plus is the most creative take on the entire idea of a New Game Plus I've seen in decades. Yeah, I was very thrilled when we got to the big, the meeting. I'll just call it that. Uh, it said there was an explosion in your high energy research lab, which probably hasn't happened yet by the sounds of it. Oh, I don't like that. Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishina. It seems a strict policy, but in a way that is reassuring. So just they know what they are doing. Do not worry about me. Go ahead and go. All right, here we go. Yeah, I've traveled with a variety of them over the course of the playthrough so far. Uh, Scan is clear. One moment. Okay. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Attention all. I am declaring a courtyard. All sections are now on lockdown. Senior staff, protocol, Delta. This is actually kind of reminding me now of Half-Life 2 in a, an interesting way. Or maybe more Half-Life 1, I'm not sure. Either way. It's given me pretty distinct Half-Life vibes. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the Director. Alright, let's go. We'll take the back way up. Andresh is the most interesting. Only other characters that come close to her complexity to me are Sam and Walter. Don't touch anything. This is Half Life 3. Uh. Well. Okay. So that happened. This is just getting more and more interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, and surprise. <laughs> Thank you guys for not spoiling that. That, 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 um, I, I was not expecting that. Oh my god. What the? Easy, easy! What the hell was that? Uh, some kind of anomaly. It could be the artifact I'm looking for. What are you talking about? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. Oh, yeah. I was. There were some scorpion things right over there. In our storage room? Yes. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? If I had stealth tech, to stealth tech, I wouldn't be arguing with you in a hallway. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Oh man, I love this. This is fun. Okay, what's now? Uh, can I loot this place? We have to do it. Oh. 
What? Hi. Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I got your distress signal. It's been so long. I'm out of food. Out of water. But I made it. I... Wait. How did you get in here? Hughes was taking me to see the director, and then I was just here. I think I'm shifting from another Nishina, an intact one. What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Probe. Distortion. Right. Slow down. Let's start with this accident. Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. This is Half-Life. a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. Describe this distortion. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd... Hey, Sophia! We should... Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. Oh, uh... If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Yeah, but if I go on ahead, I won't be able to find you again. And there we go. <laughs> second floor, end of the hall. Oh. I really need to learn not to reload quite so often. I have 30 rounds for a reason. This way. This will mess with your head, holy crap. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? At least. Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. I'm shifting to an alternate universe or something. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. It's burned out. Raphael was the... Uh, Raphael said there was a gas fire. You're all dead. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been... It could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Have they forgotten all of pop culture? It wasn't that long ago. Ugh. He also said you found an artifact. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? I've seen what they can do. It's why I'm here. Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. True, Anstara, true. And Earth is destroyed, so maybe they lost all of the fiction that involves multiverses. No more sliders. Yeah, but... Preservation is a lot better. There's no internet. What about, yeah, Quantum Leap, true. Surely they didn't lose Quantum Leap.
I need to know what you were doing to it. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. Raphael said the probe is feeding power into the distortion. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. We have to find a way to stop this. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. Have you got a tram? Perhaps? Maybe I could in the other universe. What? <laughs> in this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it, and you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. You tell me about but it. First, we have to do something about your shifting. Maria, you mentioned a control unit earlier. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. That was the darkest timeline. No community, Coming. I know. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. Okay. What have we gotten ourselves into? Uh, oh, this way. Ah! Of course. Uh, all right. Okay. Oh, hello. I want your coffee mug. Director's incident report. Shortly after midnight, a series of explosions in the high energy research lab triggered a security lockdown. A brief release of hydrogen gas was detected in the air interchange system along with particulates indicative of a major collapse or severe damage to lab facilities. Chief of Security E. Hughes canceled the lockdown for the surface facility at 0430, but all communication with the research level and its control systems has been lost. Chief Engineer R. Aguero sorry for my pronunciation, is missing, presumed dead. Security logs indicate he was alone in the lab at the time of the incident. All other personnel are accounted for. No other injuries reported. It sounds like Chevy Chase would prefer that timeline. Yeah, it kind of does. But maybe we'd luck out and get the timeline instead where Chevy Chase was never actually part of the series to begin with. Nope, not that one. No. That one's screwing with my brain for some reason. Let me see if we can do this one.
Nope, that one's not much better. A little better, maybe. Not really significantly better. There we go. I just encountered a first in cyberpunk, an enemy that recognizes when you've used the camera control quick hack to find him. That's amazing. in and and uh, I thought I'd finally lost it I met with the director we have to shut down the probe what how look if you think things are bad up here the research level is even worse I barely made it out and that was months ago I don't understand any of this if I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes I wouldn't have believed it I okay okay you're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Uh, that is an interesting question to answer, Amish. And it's actually kind of spoilery if you haven't been paying attention. Let's just say the main story has picked up quite a lot and has gotten really, really good. And the question of where exactly I am is not easily answered. Uh, okay, so we're going that away. Ah, crap. So if you were to ask him, are you everywhere or are you nowhere, the answer would be yes. Uh, and, uh, the... Oh, Sorry, just passing through. Hello. This is actually Half Life 3. Yeah, pretty much. I think when is also a decent question. When doesn't seem to change as much. At least, not that I've noticed so far, but I wouldn't rule it out. Hey, Bank, how's it going? Security Chief Ethan Hughes on duty. Warning, power surge in high energy research lab. Raphael is running some tests for Maria. Suppressed warning. Explosion detected. Emergency lockdown active. Unable to connect to research level control system, etc., etc. Emergency class X, the log ends. This is the most recent log entry. 
Survey team report. This is a nightmare world. Oh, sure. Scans look nice. Breathable atmosphere, near-Earth gravity, habitable temps at the mid-latitudes, fully established ecosystem, maybe even some useful organics. Don't let it fool you. Everything here is out to get you. The apex predators, Kataxi, are burrowing carnivores with near-impenetrable shells and deadly venom. The herbivores are aggressive and wildly territorial. Local flora defends itself with some of the strongest psychotropics we've seen. Even the oceans are polluted with heavy metals and organic compounds that'll melt your skin if you aren't protected. If we have to set up a facility here, we need a high-end electric pulse vent fence to keep the fauna at bay and a full-time doctor and security team on standby in case some idiot decides to go for a walk. Pretty much, Amish. That, that's about right. Kataxi appear to be the native apex predators of Freya 3, resembling old large earth scorpions, or sorry, large old earth scorpions. They are particularly notable for their highly aggressive nature, incredible facility of burrowing, tough chitinous shells, and powerful venom. In the wild, Kataxi are ambush hunters, digging extensive warrens and using highly developed vibrational sensile to detect approaching prey and ambush it from the most opportune vantage. Initial scans suggest Kataxi colonies may extend as far as several kilometers beneath the surface, preying on other burrowing creatures in Freya's extensive cave networks. As Kataxi track their prey with vibrations, they are immune to flash-type grenades. However, However, strong vibrational disruptive like an electric pulse field should be effective at keeping them at bay. Kataxi have evolved reinforced chitinous plating that makes them highly resistant to conventional impact and ballistic weapons. Initial confrontations suggest cryonics based energy may be significantly more effective at repulsing them. When their ambush is insufficient, Kataxi rely on neuro neurotoxic venom to fell larger prey. Resistant environmental suits and adequate medical supplies are essential for survival outside a secured perimeter. Kataxi should be considered extremely dangerous and are to be avoided if at all possible. Survey data downloaded. He's not playing Starfield anymore or Half-Life 3. It's a new game called Fuck This, I'm Out. Mm-hmm. No thanks. Yep, basically. Except that it's really awesome and I really want to play it. Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. What now? This looks like a dead end. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. Where are these creatures coming from? They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. Can you tell me about the accident? I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture, the alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The door's sealed. I was safe. From the gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Okay. I wonder if he's going to get the opportunity to go the other way. What will happen when I shut down the probe? I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. Okay. Damn it! I was about to loot that. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just broke into my locked office. So much for security protocols. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the fabrication lab. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? I need something to fight the Kataxi in the other universe. The Kataxi in the other universe. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> I've got an experimental loop one of the engineers put together. But. 
he has experience with it by now, Aranor. There, uh, there's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? This isn't getting us anywhere. I know you have your reasons. I'm just trying to help. Look, I'd like to help, but... I'm glad you're starting to realize that you may as well just hand it over. Give me a second. I am thinking about it. All right. Yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. No problem for Zerp. Are there any scorpions native to this planet? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The director said the research level is locked down? That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a hair trigger. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. What can you tell me about the research level? Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator. Whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. So it's Black Mesa. You can just say it's Black Mesa. Ugh. Okay, guys. I need to take my dinner break, so I'm gonna run some clips for a few minutes. I'll be back probably in about 10, maybe 15, but I doubt it'll be that long. By that point, the next ad break will be over and we will resume. But I'm also going to, when I get back, I will shut down the stream very briefly, restart it up again within about 10 seconds or so just to cut the VOD and we'll carry on. So if you need to get up and grab some food yourself, this is the time to do it. I'll be back shortly. Oh, they've still... <gasps> this is our first direct sighting of an actual ancient guardian. That's so cool. I love it. That works. Oh. You can't stop me. <sighs> I thought Jedi were powerful. <laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen. Oh my god. Thank you, Greeny. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Oh, that was not the Jarl's cheese. Stop right there. Don't hunt Loke. Oh my god, she. She hunted Locust and killed her. I should start the break right now. Actually, no, it's okay. It's not gonna take a minute and a half to die. Nope, too fast. Darn. Oh no! No! No, 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 no. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Hey! 
That was not me. Auto drive now engaged. Something's moving something around here to get in here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Oh, hi. Sorry, that's good. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. There are many sand pits around Sand Rock which contain a variety of fish. What? Oh my god, they just. Oh! <laughs> and it's on fire! Oh, it's a. Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well that happened it's been a bit of a day lots of things going right lots of things going wrong my airport is still on fire what the hell okay <laughs> what is this she's ignoring it that's got some decent damage I think I'd like to heal now, please. Ow. Rude. Ow. Rude. Ah. Gloom Sword. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Othgard. That was perfect. Emergency. What? We're being raided. Alera, Eld, Jaduri, <laughs> and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. A fatal raid. Thankfully, that was seconds after I just saved the games. <laughs> oh, nice. Crap, he has a bad motivator. I can just kind of circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones or I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use Well, 
that's impressive, though. I like that. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor Burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Uh. okay game this is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter <laughs> instead of falling through the world apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now world of wonders we did it guys we made it to wow in the 80s Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh... That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Oh, buddy is over there. No! No, sir. No. No. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Now, like I said, I am going to stop the stream just very briefly to cut the VOD. I'm not ending the stream. I'm going to be right back, and I will let you know in chat as soon as...